All right, what's going on friends? In this video, me and my boy Spencer are going to be putting these shelves up in his room. I bought a kit off of Amazon that has these like wrought iron pipes. Now you could probably go to Lowe's or Home Depot and buy wrought iron pipes yourself in the little end caps. I bought a two by 10, you'll see in the video, I talk a little bit more about the two by 10. You could, the ones I bought is actually for a two by eight, but I didn't want it to look exactly like a two by eight. You'll see what I do in the video. Well, all right, enjoy the video. Spence is gonna help me some with cutting and sanding. All right, I got the piece that goes on the wall, and then this piece here is the sh where the shelf's gonna sit on, and then the little end cap. I wanna put this all together, because I wanna measure this just to see exactly how much space I have. Because I bought a two by 10 that I'm pretty sure this is for a two by eight, yeah. I have about exactly eight inches in between here and that cap, about eight inches. So if I'll put some of these down in the description. I mean, there are so many different ones on Amazon. Just uh, make sure you know what size board you got to get or order these and then measure them afterwards just to make sure. And you could do like, you could just go buy a two by eight and lay it on here if you want but I like to rip the edges off because I think it makes it look like a nicer shelf when you're done. It won't look exactly like I just went and bought a two by eight and stuck it on this pipe here. So me and my boy are gonna cut two shelves that are gonna be three and a half foot each. And then we're gonna put two shelves up on the wall. We're gonna cut that board. We might go seven and seven and seven eighths. That'll give us a little bit of a space. I'm just gonna cut this end of this board off because I got an eight foot board and we only need two, three and a half foot shelves because I don't want that crack in the end of my shelf. High protection on. We have two, three and a half. All right, do that. I'll do another one, three and a half foot. All right, now I'm gonna rip these factory edges off. Like I said, you don't have to do that. You could just buy the two by eight if you want. Now we're gonna rip them down so they'll fit in that bracket, which was, I'm gonna make mine seven and seven eighths. Let's make sure we put that toward the back. Another tip is when you're, when you go to like the hardware store to buy your board, try to buy the nicest looking piece you can find Make sure it's straight, not twisted. If you're buying a bigger board like I just bought, it's really easy to find a nice straight one. All right, now we want to router these edges. All right, I got a one eighth round over bit. All right, Spence, I'm going to router this one and then I'll let you router the other one. There you go, just take your time. You know how to do it. Now, if you do use a router like we're doing, you can router these corners also.
Now we're just putting a coat of stain on. You don't have to use gel stain, it just happens to be what I have. I'll let you do the wiping. I'll do the rubbing with the paintbrush. And you're good. Yeah, get that and then give me a new side. I guess I didn't point out, I don't know how picky you are, but see how that big, how much of a round over there is there? It's a lot less here. I think it looks a lot less like a two by eight now. Looks yeah. a lot, yeah, looks more like a, it's gonna look like a nice shelf. We're like a good team. A lot quicker when you got help, huh, Spence? Yeah. There you go. Good job. Yeah, come over here. And I'll go over there. Hope I don't get it on my brand new shirts. You guys are going to have to change your name to Jim if you ever take my channel over. Because it's called DIY Jim. I don't think so. <laughs> what? That's not a cool name? I say that. That's a freaking awesome name. It's really easy to spell. Yeah. What? Right here, a little bit. Oh. Double check everything. I think I got it all. Oh, so. oh I didn't do that one. All right. Spencer wants his shelves right here above his, what do you call this? Your PlayStation. Monitor. Your monitor. Right above your monitor. And this is the kit that I bought off of Amazon. Like I said, I'll put this in the description. Now I bought this kit for, actually my wife bought this kit to put some shelves up in a different spot and she didn't like it. So this kit actually comes with five of these like this. And we're only putting two shelves up so we're only gonna end up using four of these. So like I said, I'll put a link to this in the description. And once you click on that link, you're gonna see a you'll be able to see a whole bunch of other ones if you want like a set of four if you want like a set of six or if you want to use three of these on each shelf if you end up wanting to put a longer shelf up you could use three of these but since our shelves are only three and a half foot long i'm only going to use two of these it does come with these little little plugs that i'm going to drill a hole out in the drywall put this plug in the hole and then when i screw the screw in it'll tighten it right up from what i've seen in the past these things are a pain in the butt to get back out, so it shouldn't come off the wall. Now, to get your, you're gonna wanna measure up or and see kind of approximately where you want your first shelf. That's what we did, so he kind of likes about this height from his monitor. And then we're gonna go about another foot up, and we're gonna, well, like you've seen in the thumbnail, they're gonna end up being a little bit staggered. I just think it looks a little nicer than putting them right on top of each other. But you can either use, if you have a laser like I have, you can see this laser line. This is going to keep me perfectly level. Or you can use, you can get yourself maybe a three foot level to make sure you're level. Or if you don't have a level, you can always just use a tape measure. Maybe measure down from the ceiling down and put a mark for your two brackets or your three brackets. That's just a few different ways you can go with trying to get this level. Either I lost my directions or mine didn't come with directions. I, I opened this a long time ago, so maybe I lost my directions, but um, it should tell you in your directions what size drill bit you need for your little drywall plugs. But I didn't, I can't find mine, so I just made sure my drill bit was really close to that size. All right, I decided I got my, my line coming up from the corner of this corner of his desk here and I am going to go like this is going to be the end of the shelf for this one here and I think I'm just going to go up nine or go in nine inches from this three and a half foot mark I don't know where my helper went he's getting rid of his lizard let's just measure nine I'll figure out so nine inches let me figure out three and a half we now mark, put a mark at nine over that red. Right, right here. Yeah, at nine. Ooh, 
bad insulation. All right, since mine came with no directions, this one over here, I drilled my holes a little bit too big. So for some reason, you have to figure out what size drill bit you need. Try to go a little small before you go too big. So I think that'll work. I like it. Definitely tighten right up. All right, the drill bit I ended up using, if you somehow end up get the same kit that I got, it's a 930 seconds. It might say that on the directions, but I seem to have lost my directions. All right, another tip if you end up buying one of these kits, when you start putting that screw in, don't push on it really hard. Just push on it just enough to keep that screwdriver in that screw because you don't want to push that plug in the wall. Luckily my little screw up, I have extra ones so. And then tighten that thing up until it stops rocking. Alright, that's pretty close. Tighten it up there. Go in here nine inches. Here and a half foot. We'll go in there nine inches. I want the red, look, see this hole and this hole? The red line's got to be right in the center of that hole, right in the center of that hole. That's more important than even left and right because you don't want your shelf to be crooked, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm trying to get that the up and down line that we put the pencil mark kind of lined up with these holes, okay? Yeah. You, you're holding it there and you got to put a little, like this, a little circle and all them. Pretty critical and you get that all lined up. Make sure it don't move when you do it. It's all lined up. Or they won't, because if you move it, then I can't get the rest of the screws in. Or I drill the hole really in the wrong spot. Okay, that looks good. I think I just hit a stud. Give me four of them things. That's good. All right, hope you like this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you think these shelves look on the wall. I think they turned out really nice. What do you think, Spence? Definitely. I like them. I definitely like them. I think I want to buy more and put some more shelves somewhere. They look really neat. Hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. God bless and have a great day.